Oh, I've got this nice little 318i BMW in for inspection. Um, probably end up going to do brakes because the discs are warped pretty badly. I'm going to look at the aircon because it was just done. Like they spent 380 bucks or something on it, but it's not that cold. It's like it's under gas. Uh, and the engine supposedly plays funny buggers now and again. Like it tries to stall, or it does stall, and you have to rev it up to clear it. But I haven't seen it do it, and it's a very intermittent problem. I might do it once every few months from what I can gather. So we'll just have to sit on that and see what it does. It's a very clean little car from 1990. So, yeah. Normally I don't like BMWs, but this one's alright. It's low on the kilometres though, it's only got 130 on the clock I think. So, there, yeah. we'll see how we go. Alright, it's got 141 on the clock. But, very clean car on the inside. So, yes. Yeah. We'll see what we can do with it. Oh, I've decided to get the front rotors replaced or machined depending on the minimum thickness of them. I feel like they should be machinable but we'll find out. New front pads, even though these ones have got plenty of meat, you don't want to put the old ones to resurface the rotors. The new front brake hoses because one of them is showing a bit of cracking down here. I'll try and do a close up of that later. And also with the rears, you've got to do them too. Yeah, the rear rotors have got a nice lip on them. And the pads are pretty well getting low. And they've still got plenty of meat, but might as well do it all at once. Rear brake hoses are alright. All the calipers seem to go in nicely without leaking, so yeah. So either machine or replace rotors all around and pads all around. And new front brake hoses and brake fluid. Oh, I've got new rear rotors for the vehicle, just got to give them a clean. But, uh, much more meat on those than the other ones. And the front ones were machinable. So, all nice now. I've uh, wire wheeled the mating surfaces and on all the hubs. Well, they're all nice and clean. So, put it all together and see how it goes. Oh, well, there's the brake fluid. Just pumping it out. It's not the healthiest colour. So I'll just draw it all out of this actual master cylinder here to the reservoir. Fill it up with fresh stuff and pump it through the whole system. brakes are all done. I think I forgot to do a video of the brakes on the car, but I think we've all seen that before. So, now we've got to see how it starts and go for a test drive. Yeah, it's got a nice brake pedal. Now I'll let it warm up and go for a spin. Happy little engine, but Ultra Tune's been servicing it. Who knows what kind of oil we've been using. Probably needs to be looked at under the lid there. I just got the aircon on, checking the pressure's just a bit feeble. The pressure's do seem a little low. That's what that whir noise is, and then you got all tapping from the head. It just comes and goes. But yeah, it's probably shit oil. Now it sounds worse. Now it sounds better. 
but yeah, something going on up there. It is full of oil and the oil is fairly clean, but it's probably like recycled oil or some shit. It is the annoying muffler. That is annoying. Very annoying. Sounds like shit. Speed. Damn ceramic pads, they're a little noisy. Oh well, they should wear in if not. I'll have a little look see and put a bit more red shit on them. seem to have shut up now and uh, just that muffler is annoying as hell. It seems to be running all right. So I gave it a bit of curry just to clear it out. Didn't go over three grand though. The little old lady drives it so it probably hasn't even seen 3,000 RPM before. So yes. Oh yay.